What's up guys? It is Carly here bringing you your Tuesday review on body bags and today I decided to go with a movie that I checked out on streaming. It is now on Netflix and that is Jeepers Creepers 3. Um, yeah, I've heard, uh, you know, nothing but bad things about this movie really, but I was still pretty curious about it because I did not get to see it in 20. 17 and I still wanted to see it just because I really really enjoyed part one and part two and I needed to just see if it was as bad as people were saying but basically the story on this one takes place in between part one and part two which is you know kind of cool it's supposed to be uh right after part one and but like before part two and you're kind of just following the this uh you know task force or whatever you want to call it as they're trying to take down the creeper who is on still on a killing slash eating rampage and they're just trying to take him down understand the origins of his background so that they can figure out a way to destroy him once and for all because obviously everyone knows the creeper just keeps coming back no matter what you really do to him and you also have some like side stories going on like you have a woman and her granddaughter the woman is kind of messed up in the head because her son had been taken by the creeper 23 years prior and she knows that the creeper is coming back and she believes that it is going to take her granddaughter this time and then you also have some other things going on like the granddaughter has uh you know meets up with this boy who works at a store and there's kind of like this you know lovey-dovey thing going on and then you also have some like dudes on motorbikes who find the truck and things like that um overall the story is you know it's definitely not the greatest story in the world it's kind of sloppy and i just felt like it was kind of lazily written like when you hear the dialogue it just doesn't feel like there was a lot of heart behind it it's very much just people saying um very basic lines about you know just trying to hype up the creeper really and say all the stuff you already know like oh he comes back every 23 years and he's impossible to kill and you know trying to make him sound like some badass creature and things like that but i feel like they kind of overdo it a little bit with the dialogue i just felt like the dialogue was very much just trying very forced i guess would be the correct word for this it's just kind of like this is another jeepers creepers movie everybody so here's what everyone has to say in it and um didn't really care for that but overall like i said the uh i've heard people say this is like the worst movie of 2017 or the, one of the worst movies they've ever seen in their life and i would not necessarily agree with that because for one positive thing i think it was technically pretty well made there's some nice beautiful shots in it and you know it wasn't sloppy like the direction felt very much like the first two you know maybe a little um a little weaker in some aspects but other than that i think it was a technically well-made movie you know um and the acting in it wasn't horrible while i said the dialogue is pretty bad i feel like that's not the actor's fault um you know some of the actors aren't the best but at the same time i think they were all giving it their all and trying their best with what they had um some other things to note is this movie does take place mainly in the daylight at the beginning you have some cool nighttime shots and things like that but for the most part it's all taking place while it is sunny out um not even like foggy or anything like that it's just purely sunny and i really felt that took away from the scariness of uh you know this creature who um you know it worked so well in the first two movies where he's kind of hidden in the shadows and while you get close-ups of his face sometimes it's still just covered by darkness like his face is dark and the background's dark so it's almost like he always sort of blended in and in this one you're just seeing him it goes all out it just shows him and it's not holding back anything like that and i just felt like that really kind of just made him not nearly as scary as he was and um i will say the makeup still looks the same uh obviously the same guy plays him and i think they did a good job of making him look the same as he did in the previous two movies because you know some sometimes when you go farther along in a series uh people like you know freddy krueger for instance or something the makeup kind of gets a little sloppy and just not as good i think uh this creature still looked pretty um good but 
all in all, this movie definitely was not great. I would not recommend it really unless you're a fan of the uh, other two movies and you're very curious because that's really the only reason I wanted to watch it. I wouldn't have watched it if I was not a fan of the first two movies, but, um, you know, uh, yeah, the story just wasn't overly interesting, especially because this hour, this uh, movie runs an hour and 41 minutes. I feel like it could have benefited a lot from being cut down, like, maybe, I don't know, like, 20, 30 minutes or so, because at first I was, you know, kind of into it, but as it went on, I just kind of fell out of the story a little bit, and it was getting harder and harder to pay attention to, just because I didn't think the story was that good, and it wasn't um, all that great in general, like, the effects were pretty bad and laughable, but, um, yeah, that's basically all I really have to say about it. All in all, it was, um, a well-made movie on a technical aspect, um, I think they did some cool things with the trucks and, uh, or the, uh, you know, the truck that he drives in the movie, I think they did some cool new things with that, and, uh, that's about it for the positives, really. The acting also wasn't awful, but all in all, not the best movie in the world. I gave it a 4 out of 10, so it's definitely a below average film, but like I said, the only reason I would say to check it out is if you are a fan of the other two and you're a completist and have to watch every film in a series like me, so yeah, 4 out of 10 for Jeepers Creepers 3. Thank you guys for joining me for this Tuesday review, and I shall see you next week.